and our ministry has suffered because we have to spend so much time, effort, and money in just keeping this facility going. New tonight, a historic Grand Rapids church has to leave its northeast neighborhood location because its current building is too big for its congregation. What will come next? Has neighbors divided? Martin Dieters back from the Michigan Oaks neighborhood tonight with the details, and he joins us in studio with more. Barton? Well, Heather and Brian, for more than 30 years, Wealthy Park Baptist Church has been on the 2200 block of Michigan Street. But with less than 100 members and a church that seats 1200, something had to change. The church here on Michigan Street had its beginnings here on Wealthy Street at Eastern Avenue in the 1870s, opening this building in 1909. At its peak, the church had more than 1,200 members. But after toying with the idea for more than a decade, the church moved to Michigan Street in the late 1980s, building onto a former elementary school at a cost of $2.5 million. The 40,000 square foot church is on 18 acres. After trying to sell to other churches, schools, and the like, the cost to renovate were determined to be too steep. The building has no value to anybody and had to sell it as a property. Pastor William Swem says the church will move to temporary facilities this summer and hopes to have a new permanent home soon. Churches are closing their doors and leaving behind empty buildings. We didn't want that to happen. We didn't want an empty building, a, a unmowed lawn, all of that out here for the neighborhood. Orion Real Estate Solutions has preliminary approval from the city for an 88 unit townhouse development. That development will start as rental and then convert to owner occupied according to the company. Compared to what could go here, I think it's a beautiful plan. But neighbors appear divided. Every neighborhood should have a green space. That's ours. That's the only one we have. Frances Neville says she's the acting vice president of the Neighborhood Association. She says the traffic, the impact on the water runoff, the drainage, and damage to the environment and the wetlands are the issue. So, you know, possible litigation somewhere down the road if this goes through. But many neighbors are on board with the development. We're anxious to have people who uh, live in houses that are comparable in size and price so that the neighborhood continues to look the same. She said it could have been an abandoned property or a high density project. I'm very excited to meet new people. I've never met any people in this neighborhood I haven't liked a whole lot that haven't become good friends. Well, there's still many phases before the plans become final, including approval from the state and how to deal with the wetlands in the area. But the vice president of Orion said they hope to have all 88 units available yet this year. In studio, Barton Dieters, 24-Hour News 8.